Social Security and to protect really the jobs of the people who are on the front line, we have a friend in Senator McCaskill. She will be there to fight to keep the most vulnerable covered. But we have to keep our voices raised. We have to keep the pressure on. She cannot do this alone. You know, I keep thinking about this story. Do you remember when Moses and then the people of Israel, they got, to the, they got to the edge of the promised land after two years of wandering. And Moses sent 12 spies in. Ten of them came back and said, forget it. They're, you know, it's too big. We're like grasshoppers in the sight of the giants. And you know, a lot of people feel that way. They feel like this whole budget crisis is a giant and there's no way around it and everybody's, we're just, it's too complicated. And, but two of the spies, they came back, Joshua and Caleb, they came back and they said, no, we can do it. it. We can do it if we just gather together, if we get smart, if we get the right people working on this. Nobody has to suffer. We can do this. But they weren't enough. It was only two against the ten. And it took 38 more years. It took a whole other generation to get us to the promised land. Well, I think that was a warning that if we don't grow those two, we have to grow this movement across Missouri. It's not enough. We're not enough. And Claire can't do this by herself. She needs us raising our voices. When we were sitting in here and we heard you out here chanting, the whole room lifted up. And you know what? And she got energized. We could hear her saying, yes, Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security, and the jobs of the most vulnerable workers Yes, I will protect those. Now, that doesn't mean there won't be compromises. That doesn't mean that we can't work together, all of us, to figure it out. But we have to find ways that we're all going to contribute to the common good. We have to find ways that we're all going to work together so that the most vulnerable of our citizens are protected. And that's why she's in office. And that's why we need to support her. And that's why we need to keep our voices raised because we have to keep the pressure on. So everybody has to go out there and get a hundred people to stand with you. We have to grow this movement so that even in Jefferson City, <laughs> they start to understand that, you know, sure, they like to think that people can get pulled up by their bootstraps, but they're forgetting that not everybody out there has boots. We gotta start by making sure everybody gets boots before we tell them to pull up there by their bootstraps, and we cannot. We cannot compromise when it comes to Medicaid anymore. It's already bare bones. We are not going to compromise on Medicare for the people that are depending on this for their very lives, and we are not going to mess with Social Security. So there are things that we are not going to compromise on. There are other places that can be cut. We do have a crisis, but we're more than two today. We're growing our numbers, and pretty soon we will have the critical number, the critical voices to make sure that we do, we do make this a lot more like the promised land. So keep your voices high, and let's keep working together to make what we know is right a reality, especially especially for the people who cannot be out here speaking for themselves. God bless you all.